There, 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 there. This is a blog series, and you're gonna listen if you want. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the beginning of my podcast. This is the first episode, episode numero uno, and this is an untitled podcast as of yet, but it's the first episode, and let's get into it. KFC, McDonald's, Wendy's, Tim Hortons, Five Guys, McDonald's, Burger King. There are so many places like to be in this world that are that are good too though. Like those are good places. So this is the beginning of a series of talks that I'm going to do. Because I've always wanted to like have some form of vlog slash podcast. And I am more than happy to tell everyone that this is y'all's first episode. I don't know the name yet, but maybe when I post it, I'll figure out a name. Um, I am driving right now along I-84 East. I-84 Eastbound, folks. Sitting in that traffic. Okay, but here we go. Let's, let's, let's get this going on. Um... I first wanted to say that my name is Brandon, but you already knew that. Um, I like making lists, and I like fast food. Um, And I don't have that interesting of a life, but I really think that um, a lot of people who, um, like, vlog, you don't need to talk about, like, insane stuff like you just need to talk about like normal everyday things because honestly that's the most interesting thing like like i'm going to talk about the things that i hate the things that i like um i'm going to talk about anything really that's on my mind like i'm not going to talk about like my personal life too much or at all really because that's like not fair to the people in my personal life um such as my family and friends but, um, I am going to talk about, like, you know, just things that people do. Like, I'm not going to name any names. I don't name drop. Although I did go on a date with Addison Ray recently. So, no, I'm just kidding. I didn't go on a date with Addison Ray. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, yeah. Um, that's my life. Um, that's my life so far. Um, what what's been going on here um yeah so let me just tell you um so i literally made a video i literally did this i literally made a video and then erased the video because i didn't erase it my computer spazzed out uh, uh, can you say the word spaz anymore i didn't even, my computer glitched out because I know, like, the word spastic, like, that's, okay, but, like, when I was a kid, like, everyone would call people a spaz, but I don't think that's a good word anymore, so I'm gonna get canceled by, like, everyone now, no, I just started, no, no, no stop, stop, Brian, all right, I'm, I'm gonna continue, I'm gonna continue this blog, I'm gonna continue this blog, and we're gonna, we're gonna get past this, we're just in a rough patch here, okay, so, what was I saying? Um, so, yeah. Um, my computer decided to um, delete the video. I made an... I was talking for an hour on, like, the photo booth. You know, the photo booth app on my computer. Because I just got a new Mac, and I love it. I'll admit it. I love it. I haven't had a Mac since middle school, and it's been wonderful having it back. It really has. I have an iPhone, but the Mac is like, you know, it's it's the OG. It's like what they first made. It's just like a great computer. All respect for Dell, though. They got me through college and high school, but like, I'll be a Mac guy until the day I die, probably. Um, and hopefully that won't be for like, like a few like decades slash years slash months slash millennia. But we'll see. Um, so, uh, so yeah 
that's what's going on in my life. Um, I, uh, I made a few videos on my computer, also the ones that did save, but, like, I'm not gonna post them because I don't like them. They were political and, like, you know, like, they were talking about, like, economics and politics and stuff, but I realized, like, the video I made that got deleted by my stupid computer, which is the one thing I'm really annoyed about Apple, that everything else I'm happy with, um, the file was corrupted and I, like, ended up, like, putting money in some spam site and now I... I got I tried to get a refund from them. Um, I, I like found this website. And I paid some dude on like on like PayPal, with my info. Like, all to tr- try to get my money back, but under no luck, did not work out, folks. The PayPal thing worked out a little bit. I'm gonna be honest. Like they did their best for real. They got like two and a half minutes back, but it was like an hour long video, so. Um, $60 in debt, and I'm trying to get that money back. The money I gave the guy at PayPal was $9, and he could keep it. I'm not going to try to get that back, because he deserves it. There's no reason to make it back. They they did what they said, and I, I knew it was only two minutes. I still bought it, because I thought that maybe it would magically become, like, magically become uh, an hour. Because I'm dumb. Um, but that's fine. That's fine. But the $54, I got to get back. I'm going to try to do that, or else I will be annoyed. And it's, I'm not paying for... Because, like, they sent me activation code and it didn't work. This is just, like, like annoying. But let's get into it. Let's, let's just get into it, all right? Um, so, Wendy's, Five Guys, Papa John's, Domino's. Yeah, sometimes I'm just going to name random fast foods in the, in the middle. And you're just going to have to deal with it. Because it's fun to say fast food brand names. It just is. Fast food, Popeye's, Wendy's... Lil Caesars, um, Taco Beal, um, Staples. Oh, I'm just gonna say anything, like any name, proper noun, like any proper noun that comes to my mind. I'm just gonna say because why not? YOLO. Um, okay, I'm gonna ask people a question. Now, this is an interesting question. This is, like, a weird thing I do with my brain. I don't know if this is, like, a normal thing. This is, like, a normal thing that everyone does, or, like, I'm just really weird. I'm probably just, like, really weird. Um, but, um... Yeah. That's probably what it is. But, like, I like to, like, reverse words in my brain. So, like, YOLO, I'll be like, oh, loy. Like, I like to be, like, YOLO, and then it's, like... Oloy because it's O L O Y backwards is Y O L O forwards. Um, and if and sometimes I try to see if I'm happy with the way words sound backwards, is I don't know why I do it. I just do. It's weird. Um, but and then I'll like say the two words together in my in my brain. It's like it's like weird. Like my brain is weird. I think everybody's brain is weird. Um. I think everyone has a weird brain. Um, yeah, so... There's, like, not a lot of shows to watch these days. Like, I'm looking for stuff to watch. I like documentaries a lot. And I like horror a lot. Um, I have a few good horror things to watch, but... I don't know. Like, I actually do have stuff to watch, actually. I, that's a lie. I don't need any suggestions. I actually have quite a bit of stuff that is on my queue... Like, I want to watch that show Archive 81. I saw that on, on Netflix. Right now, that's my next to, to do. It looks pretty good. And the cast, like, was pretty good actors. Sometimes you get really bad actors in horror movies. Like, awful actors. And I'm like... I literally just want to, like, email them and be like, No. This isn't okay. This is not okay. And, like, they try to pass it off as, like, a cult film or, like, whatever. But, nah. They're just... It's just a bad film. Like, like... Like, you have to be good. You have to be, like, even better than good to, like, achieve cult film status. You can't just, like, be bad and then say you're a cult film. No, you're just an amateur slash crappy actor. You're not, like, a cult film star. Like, 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 first of all, most cult films, like, aren't, like, a thing. Like, you can't make a cult film because most of, like, okay, let me start over. 
most cult films are like from the seventies. You can it's hard to like make a cult film because it be, it doesn't become a cult film when it comes out. It becomes a cult film because of the fan base, and that's why it's a cult because cult of all people. So like, there's all these movies that I've seen, like countless. I've seen like, usually like, like, like torrented. I don't know if that's what, what's that word. Uh, um, that was on the other side of the highway, guys. I'm good. Nobody honked at me. Um, so what was what's that word like? Like I don't know. Like downloaded like for free online illegally probably. Um, but. That was before I was 18, so, like, I got the, like, laws of, like, protection. You can't prove anything, FBI. You don't know what I did or what I streamed. They probably do, though, but that that's fine. I don't really care. Um, like, it, I, I usually buy everything. Like, I have, like, a valid, like, a, I have all valid accounts now because I believe in, like, people should be rewarded for their work, especially in the entertainment industry because they're having a hard time. Um... So, I'm just going to actually go on a tangent and let you know. For some reason, I really want to let everyone know this. Um, the comedians that I think... Like, here are some comedians that I think are going to... Well, no, here are some comedians that I've really been obsessed with in my life. <laughs> some person just hit me. I'm not even going to get out because I don't really care. I'm going to be honest. Like, I don't really give a shit. Like, these people in Connecticut do not know how to drive. Um, so, yeah. That's how my life is going these days. I had a feeling some of this would happen today. Like, for real. I just knew some of this would happen. These people in Connecticut do not know how to drive. Um, so yeah, that's how my life is going. Um, I just had a feeling this would happen. Like, I literally, you know when you have a bad feeling something's gonna happen? Um, well, maybe this is a good sign that, like, the opposite of my YouTube career, um, like, it won't be, it will be, like, a good thing. Of course, I get into the lane and then an ambulance is there. It's like, this is literally how my life just normally goes. It's like a train wreck. Um, so, yeah. Um, this is going to be fun to share. I'm excited to see the reactions, if any. Um, I had a feeling this was going to happen. Like, I had a feeling something this was going to happen. Luckily, my car is totally fine, which I'm really happy about. Good job, Subaru. Um, but, um, a cop was really nice, too. Connecticut cops are nice, I guess. Um, and uh, this has been a lot. Like, I, I'm just trying to get to my guitar lesson. I knew this would happen, too. It's, it's, it's just been wonderful. I got to drive on the side of the road, though, and avoid all the traffic, and then sit there and talk to the cops. It, that was enjoyable. But other than that, like, at least it wasn't, like, a freaking truck that, like, ran into me. Like, it felt like it was a freaking truck that ran into me. That's what I thought it was. But like, I, I guess it wasn't. Um, so that's interesting. Um, that is very interesting. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that's what's going on in my life. Good job, Subaru, though. Good job, Subaru. Like, you took it like a champ. He took the hit like a champ. I think because I was rolling a little bit, it wasn't as bad. But, like, he took that hit 
and the other car I think was messed up because some car passed and like had like a broken like right or left bumper and my car was perfectly fine so I think that's why the dude didn't stop because I'm pretty sure he was the one who was hurt and my car did not does not even have like a dent like or a scratch or anything it's crazy I think his car was like I'm gonna like send Subaru a thank you email like this has been an amazing day I didn't like my car before but you know what I'm turning this into a good opportunity for me to like be happy because I'm, I'm, you know what? Like sometimes, like you need something almost bad to happen so you can feel happy. That's just like true. Like I heard, I heard like Jordan. I don't know if you like Jordan Peterson, but he, he talks about that stuff. Um, I have mixed opinions. I'm not gonna get into it because, as I said, I'm not gonna get political or economic or philosophical. Or I'll get philosophical. That's my thing. But I'm not gonna get like philosophical in ways that will depress people or anything like or like make people like too triggered about relationships or anything like that or do anything in terms that would make people like really have to like like I don't like talking about things that are too you know like too like just too much and stuff um so yeah that's what I'm gonna do um I'm gonna um just chill out here um and uh, do my own thing. Um, um, yeah, so these uh, these trucks are like crazy, and these people are crazy. And Connecticut's just a whole different world than New York. Like, I feel like New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut, they're called the tri-state area, but, like, New York and New Jersey are very similar. Connecticut is a whole different story, I'm sorry. They got their own thing going on here. Like, they got their own rules. They just do whatever they want. That's what I learned. I always knew that, but now, now I know for sure. Like, in Connecticut, if somebody hits you and they're not hurt, they don't have to stop. No, no, and you're not hurt, they just have to go and make you think that your car is messed up. That's, that's what that's what they do in Connecticut. No, but also like in Connecticut, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like something about it just irks me. I'm gonna be honest. Something about this place just irks me. I don't know what it is. Like I feel like you know what it is. They don't know like what good pizza is here. That's that's what it is. That's what it is. Like I was born in New York. I was raised like an hour. Or an hour and a half, like, north of New York City. So, like, when it comes to, like, um, when it comes to, like, pizza, I've been, I, I've seen all, I've been to Chicago, and their pizza is good. I actually really, I actually think that Chicago pizza, um, and New York pizza are, like, New York pizza is number one, but Chicago pizza is a close number two, like, for sure. And then, the rest of the states, I, I don't know what they do for pizza there. I never really lived in any other state. I don't think they eat pizza in these states. I think I think that they just, like, wait till they could come to, like, Chicago or New York to eat pizza. But that's probably why people are upset in some places. Like, I eat pizza, like, every day because I live in New York and I have access to quality-sized pizza. Like, I've been to Brooklyn and their pizza is top level. So if you want, like, A1 pizza, like, even good for New York pizza, go to Brooklyn. Go to Brooklyn. Go to, like, Manhattan, though, first. Because you, you got to try... Like, Manhattan pizza is insane. Brooklyn pizza is insane. All the pizza is insane. I haven't had Queens pizza, but let me let me guess. Insane. Staten Island pizza I've had. Staten Island pizza is insane, as you would expect. Because um, a lot of Italians live in Staten Island. So, of course, the pizza is good. Um, and then we're talking about pizza now. This this day just is insane, guys. I'm literally talking until my guitar lesson. I don't even care. Like I'm about to make my guitar lesson, escape from like a near death experience accident, talk to a nice cop, like have have myself become happy again with my car, make friends with the firefighters who were there at the accident, like by the cop. Well, no, what happened... So, let me explain what happened at, at the cop car thing. So, 
I was in traffic going like 20, 25 miles an hour. And then we like had a, st- cause like, you know, it was one of those like, like they made us, they like, I'm on, you know, I'm on I-84 and like, I think it was two lanes going into one because they closed the lane because of an accident. So there's cops and firefighters and everyone's brother and sister there, like seeing what was going on, you know. Everybody who has any sort of medical training has to show up to those things. Um, so then all your medical school students and your doctors and everything are there. Um, and all your firefighters and the firefighters in the next state are there. And you, you, you know how it goes. You got like 85 fire trucks coming, even though I don't see a fire. And, like, the, and it's basically cleared. But I don't know why... Okay, let me get on a quick tangent. How come, like, when... There was no need for more fire trucks to come, and when I was sitting there, there was, like, two fire trucks coming. Like, they didn't do anything, but they just, like, caused everyone to, like, almost get into an accident. So, no, 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 no. We, we don't like fire trucks that go places for no reason. We like fire trucks that go places for good reason, because they're he- heroes and saviors, but why do you have to go through traffic when there's no one there? Like, I don't understand it. I don't understand it, and I never will, and I don't think anybody does. I don't think the people who are driving the truck could tell you. I think that they just do what they're told, I'm going to be honest. So, next story. Wait, no. Uh, not next story. I'm going to keep going on this. All right. Off, back to the thing that I was before my tangent. Before my tangent, I was talking about... Oh, yeah, what happened at the thing. So, the cop was, like, sitting there, and then the firefighters were wrecking traffic, but they had, like, ten, and then they only needed, like, two. Um... And then there was, like, a car on the right that was, like, looked like it's, like, hit, like, a railing or something. It was, like, the front was, like, messed up and the side was messed up. And then there was, like, two cars on the left. Like, there was a car, the right, car was on the shoulder was on the right. I parked par- right behind it when I talked to the cop. And then I, like, ran across the road and, like, I felt, like, special. That, that's, like, main character energy right there. When you run across the road during a traffic jam, that's, like, main character energy. You feel like everyone's watching you. Ugh. That was, like, I was the star of a movie for, like, five minutes. I was talking to Kyle. Everybody was, like, probably thinking, I wonder what happened. Because they saw me drive up. They're probably, like, they're probably, like, his, like, sibling or something was in an accident up there. They're like, who knows? Who knows? Like, I just know that I was the main character of that traffic jam. And I did a good performance. Um, so I was giving out main character energy. So anybody at the traffic jam who saw me, because I was a main character, so they definitely saw me. And they liked what they saw. It just hit me up. Okay? Hit me up. I was a guy in the Subaru. On the side of the road. Running across the road. So it just freaking hit me up already. Jeez. Just hit me up. Um, I was a guy I was a guy talking to the, to the cop. And I'm not going to tell you my description. If you think that any guy you ever saw today was good looking and was talking to a cop or was running across the road, or was driving a Subaru, then he was me. Just assume he was me and hit me up. That's all I ask. Just assume that any guy you see today who you like was me. So, I was that guy. No, I'm just kidding. Um, or was I? No, no, I'm just kidding. Oh, sometimes my brain. Sometimes my brain. Um, so, yeah, so, that's what we're doing. I'm, like, in the town now, finally, that my place is in. Um, Apple Maps, like, told me to avoid it, but I'm like, no, I'd rather stay on the highway and have fun and get hit by cars and talk to the people and stuff. It's more fun than driving on local roads and not tra- not get trapped. But that's fine. You know what? Honestly, I hate stops. Okay, back to the event. So, I'm talking to the cop I'm across the road, and then I'm like, wait, my car isn't even damaged. I'm looking at it. I'm like, I thought, it, I thought that, like, there would be a clear indent of that guy's bumper, you know, like... You know, like, when someone, like, like slaps your butt and there's, like, a red imprint? I thought there would be, like, that, when, like, like, on the bumper. But, nope. The cheeks were clean. Um, the whole rear end of my car was squeaky clean. And the cop was like, you're good folk. You're good folk. I don't know. You're, you're good, bro. He was like, you're good, bro. Um, and I was like, yeah. And then we saw a car go by, and we both thought that it was a guy that hit me because his like bumper was like sticking out. I'm like, I should. He was like, he rear-ended you, so like obviously you're not in trouble. But like, but like his car is messed up, and it wasn't my fault. So yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. And then the fireman was like, those Subarus hold up well. 
Um, and then I got back in the car. I looked at this five car. And then I ran across the road to look at my car again just to make sure up close nothing is wrong. Then I ran back across the road again to tell the cop that I was all good and thanked him for being a nice man. And then I went back in my car, backed up so I didn't hit the car that was already messed up. And then, and then pissed some dude off in a truck and then got back on the road. Because the dude in the truck had to stop to let me in and was like, hey. And it was like, it was like a small truck though, so he didn't use that much gas stopping. Um, so, yeah. And then I got back on the road and then I'm probably going to be like only a couple minutes late to my appointment. So, it's really been a wonderful experience. Um, I'm going to be honest. This has been positive overall. Because now I'm just flying and there's nothing that can stop me. Um, so, by the way, the video that got deleted, I was, like, talking about populations of countries and stuff. It was an interesting video, but, like, I think this one is actually better. I really talk more about, like, my life and, like, what I think about things. It's definitely better, and it's definitely a good one to start out my podcast series. Let's have the podcast series be called, like, like, Crash and Burn or something. Because I got into a crash on my first... It should be definitely something about the crash and, or cars or something like that. I'm going to do some sort of pun on that. Um, pun. Pun. I don't like that word. But you have to say it sometimes to get your point across. Um, so... Yeah. Um, there's a lot of things that I have to say, but not actually... Um, I just need to make it to my lesson, which I will. Um, maybe on the way back I'll film, like, more. Um, but, uh, yeah. I probably have to go into Garage Man and, like, edit this. Um, and stuff. Because I say curse words a couple of times. So, so... When I make the video, I have to be like, no, it's not made for kids. Because I plead to that, but I, I don't think that they're going to like that. And I feel like some of the stuff that happened, like, it's not going to be very interesting for kids. They're not going to understand, like, why I get into a car accident. Is that bad? Um, they probably will, but, like, they won't really understand, like, exactly what big deal if, like, the car is, like, able to drive. So they probably, like, don't really understand the intricacies of, like, how expensive it is to fix a car and how annoying insurance can be and stuff like that. Um, so yeah. Um, um, this has really been a wonderful experience. I know I'm going to title this video now without, like, filming, or, like, starting my own, in the middle of the first episode of my podcast, and I get rear-ended by a car. Wonderful. That's what, that's what the title's probably going to be. Um, something like that. Um, so... I'm kind of happy I'm doing these podcast things. It's, like, fun. Um, I'm having fun with it. I'm probably just going to post this and, like, and, like, make, like, a, like, a little screen, like, my face or, like, Photoshop something. I don't know. But I'll probably just, like, have, like, a still image and then just have the audio. Um, so I'm going to do that. Um. I hope that that's okay to do. Um, I don't see why not. Like, I feel like that's fine. Like, YouTube gets mad over a lot of things, though. It's like, kind of annoying. If not, I'll probably just post it on some sort of video sharing app and just put a link or something somewhere. I don't know. But I really don't want to start like a podcast with just audio. It's not my thing. I, I don't like it that much. It's not my thing. I'm sorry. Some people like it, but... Mm, I don't know. Yeah. Um, 
So I uh I might though. Because it's just audio. There's no reason to put it on YouTube. Um People in this state of CT do not know how to drive their own vehicles. I'm sorry. Like, they get vehicles and don't know how to drive them. Like, that's just what seems to happen. <laughs> they get vehicles and then they don't know how to drive these vehicles. Um, so that's what seems to happen there. They seem to, like, not understand that you might have to teach someone how to drive. They just like to, like, have people, like, drive. I don't know. Um, I'm trying to make a turn here. This is always a really hard turn, and hopefully I'll get rear end in making a turn. Now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go up because that, that truck is not gonna go. I'm sorry. You don't, you don't get to go. Why are you like five minutes late? I'll be like, well, I got a good story to tell you. All right, bye everyone. We'll talk to you when I get back.